Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're brand new to the channel, my name is Scott and this is the Scott Aromatical Fragrance Channel. And as you can tell from the thumbnail that you just clicked on, today we're going to be talking about my top 10 favorite summertime tropical beach vacation fragrances for men. So let's go. Welcome back. Like I said, Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to click on this video. I am so excited to be talking about this topic, a top 10 favorite tropical beach vacation fragrances for men. And you may be asking why I decided to do a video like this, this time of year in the winter time. Because of that, because it is winter time. A lot of us are getting up early. We're going to work when it's dark. We're coming home when it's dark, right? It's raining, it's snowing, or it's just plain cold outside. A lot of us just emptied our wallet for Christmas. So, you know, this year is kind of just, you get those wintertime blues, that, those blahs, right? It's just kind of like, uh, nothing really to look forward to. So this is the time of year I like to do this kind of video because, you know, one of the things I love about fragrances is they have this ability to tell a story without saying a word. You know, they really can invoke, you know, memories. They can really be great pick-me-ups and they can be so transportive. They can take you to another time and place, really help you to escape. So without any further ado, let's talk about my top 10 favorite fragrances that are perfect for lifting you up this time of year. Let's go. First fragrance I'm going to talk about is just one of those houses I discovered when I dove down the fragrance rabbit hole. This one is called Beach Giza, and this one is called Coco Moon. Wow, oh wow, do I love this fragrance. I wore this fragrance, you know, on my summertime vacation with the family. We went to the Florida Keys, and this one did the job. And as you can see from the dent I put in this fragrance, it is absolutely amazing. It is intoxicating. I am so glad I discovered this house because this fragrance is just so bright and fresh off the top. It has that juicy pineapple note right away. And then you get hit with a heavy dose of coconut that is absolutely to die for. It's slightly floral as the fragrance starts to develop. And then you get this creamy, sweet vanilla. And then it kind of leans a little bit masculine with some woody vibes on the dry down. Man, this is good. The scent bubble is huge. The scent trail is just long. It just goes forever. And people are gonna, gonna know where you've been and they're gonna notice you. This is a real head turner. I get about eight plus hours on my skin with this fragrance. It's absolutely intoxicating and absolutely to die for. I love this fragrance. Definitely give this a try. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What are some of, the, some of your favorite Beach Giza fragrances? Or what are some Beach Giza fragrances I need to try? Because I haven't tried them all and they're definitely high on my list. So I'd love to hear from you down below in the comments. Next fragrance, same thing, Beach Vibes. I love this house. This house is called Scent Journey, and this one is aptly named Cocktails and Catamarans. Wow, is this fragrance good. You get lots of citrus on the top, of course, which is kind of the theme with a lot of fragrances. And then you have this really amazing, boozy, intoxicating pina colada note. You know, it is just so good. I love the pina colada note in this. And as the fragrance starts to develop, you get this really nice melon note, a very almost lactonic, creamy coconut, musky and broxin, and then it's got some woods on the dry down. This is so good. I can almost hear those steel drums playing in the background. I can hear the cry of the seagulls, the waves crashing on the shore. This one definitely invokes those Caribbean blue water vibes. This is so good. I get about six hours on my skin, which isn't bad. They just upped their game with a brand new presentation. Definitely try out Scent Journey, and in particular, Cocktails and Catamarans. All right, next fragrance I want to talk about right here. This is a special occasion fragrance. This fragrance is so opulent, a little bit on the high side. I love this one. I'm going to be wearing this like crazy in the summertime. This is so good. This one is called God of Fire, and this one is by Stefan Uber Lucas. Wow, oh wow. One of my favorite pickups from 2022. The mango note in here is so photorealistic and so juicy. It is absolutely to die for. You get a little bit of lemon, not a whole lot, but then you get a punch of ginger that kicks you right in the face. I love it so much. There's a red berry note that helps smooth everything out. It's warm, it's musky. This is intoxicating elegance at its finest. I love this fragrance, you gotta try it. I love it so much that I have so many more of these fragrances I gotta put on my list. I think the next one I'm thinking about getting is Black Gemstone. Let me know some of your favorite fragrances from this house, Stefan Uber Lucas. It is so amazing. And this is a special occasion fragrance, but this is going to work so well in the high heat in South Carolina. All right. Now, 
you know, maybe this isn't exactly a tropical fragrance, but I had to include it on the list. This one is from the Bubble Collection, and it's called Santorini. Who doesn't think of beach time and summertime when you think of Santorini? Those sun-soaked white buildings with those turquoise blue tops, those blue Mediterranean waters. Oh, it's one of my dream destinations. I'd love to hear from you. If you would, comment down below, because I know a lot of you have dreams of some places you've never been. You know, they're high on your list. They're on your dream board. You know, you fantasize for a long time about going there. I'd love to hear from you just for fun. What are some of your favorite dream destinations that you've always wanted to go to? It doesn't have to be for summertime. It could be anywhere. You know, it, could, it doesn't have to be a beach uh, location. You know, maybe it's Hawaii, maybe it's Alaska, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What are some of your favorite destinations that you've always wanted to go to? This fragrance right here by the Bubble Collection is absolutely intoxicating. It's light, it's airy, it's so gorgeous. It's aquatic and fresh on the top. There's lots of citrus. Then as the fragrance starts to develop, you really pick up those florals with the neroli and the orange blossom. And there's even this beautiful, juicy, almost sparkling, you know, pear in this one. It's so juicy and so good. And then as the fragrance starts to dry down, you get a little bit of warm muskiness and a little bit of saltiness. Wow, you can really, really feel the sea breeze blowing through your hair when you wear this fragrance. It is so refreshing, so clean. Ah, I just love it. It's so good. You've got to give this a try. If you've never tried anything from the Bubble Collection, definitely put it on your list because it is so intoxicating. All right, next fragrance. I found out about this fragrance at, at a scent convention called Scent Explore. This is one of my favorite discoveries also from last year. This is Mossy. This one right here is called Mossy Into Me for him. Man, oh man, is this a great fragrance. Wow, I love it. I'm so glad I discovered it. It's one of my favorite freshies in my collection. And it's not just any kind of freshie. It's a freshie with some character and some depth. I know, you know, that doesn't make sense because a lot of freshies are just all the same. They're very similar. This one actually has some teeth and I love this fragrance. It's, it's very complex and very, very different from a lot of things you've smelled out there. It's got a nice grapefruit opening, fresh pink pepper, and then I love that lime note. That lime note is so intoxicating, but the star of the show is just that beautiful, sweet, fresh, juicy watermelon note. And when you think of watermelon, who doesn't think about the summertime? The watermelon note in here is so gorgeous and just beautiful. I love this fragrance. It's very opulent. There's a kick of ginger as it starts to develop. Then it becomes warm and woody. And to me, this fragrance is elegance personified. I get about six hours on my skin, but I'm telling you, this fragrance right here will transport you to the summertime instantly. And in particular, that very beautiful tropical beach vacation that you've always wanted to go on. Can't do a countdown or I can't do a list video without mentioning this fragrance house. One of my favorite people in the whole world, Richard Herpon. One of my favorite houses this one is called precious liquid this fragrance right here in one word is refreshing i always paint a picture with this fragrance i paint a picture of you walking along the beach the waves crash against the rocks and then that sea spray just kind of falls down on your hot warm dry skin this fragrance is so refreshing that you get an agave note you get a sea salt note there's some lime and some salty driftwood in this as well this one is absolutely intoxicating. It smells so good. I get about four to six hours on my skin, which isn't great, but it's small enough you can keep this in your pocket or keep it in a backpack, or maybe your significant other carries a handbag. Carry it with you, and then after about four to six hours, refresh your spray. It smells so good. To me, this is one of the closest fragrances to smelling like the beach. No kidding. I love the way this smells, and it's very addicting. All right. If this was a countdown video where I was listing, you know, the least to the best and how I got to number one, which this isn't, but if it was, this would be my number one fragrance on the list. This one is a big W-O-W, wow. It is so, so good. This is one of the most amazing fragrances in my collection. This is Moonlight in Heaven by Killian. It's got a grapefruit top, lemon, then it's got some fresh pink pepper, but then the stars of the show arrive and you got this juicy photorealistic mango. You have this nice subtle coconut note and then this gorgeous addictive rice note that who would have thought? And I love the rice note in here. It's so creamy and so addictive and so good. It's just so intoxicating. This fragrance is so gorgeous. And when you get to the dry down, you're left with some vanilla and vetiver that just works. One of my favorite scents. My wife loves this fragrance on me. In fact, she steals it and wears it too. It's so intoxicating. Of course, most Killian fragrances are intoxicating. 
I get eight plus hours. Scent trail is massive. Uh, the sillage is great. It just goes forever. It's a head turner. You're going to get compliments with this one right here, Moonlight in Heaven. All right, final three fragrances are some designer fragrances, but don't tune away. These fragrances are just as good as some of the niche fragrances, if not better, because the price point is really, really good. I love these fragrances. And the next fragrance I'm going to be talking about is St. Bart's by Tommy Bahama. Love this bottle. I love the presentation of this. Just so simple, so beautiful. And this fragrance is really, really good. This fragrance can be had for 35 to 40 bucks in a box store like TJ Maxx or Ross or Marshalls or something like that. This fragrance is really, really, really priced well. And I love it. I love what's going on in here. It is so, so good. You've got lime on the top, clean, crisp, dry tequila, very aquatic. You've got that agave note. You've got some saltiness going on. Then you've got that tropical guava note, a palm leaf note, and then it becomes warm and musky with a little bit of vanilla on the dry down. I wore this today. I sprayed it on my wrist and I just couldn't stop smelling myself. I wish it lasts a little bit longer. You only get about four to six hours, but this one right here is amazing. What are some of your favorite Tommy Bahama fragrances? I only own just the one. So if you leave a list down below, I've never tried St. Kitts or some of the other ones. Tell me what your favorite Tommy Bahama fragrance is. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. This is one of my favorite flankers from Dolce & Gabbana, light blue. This one is called Sun. This one is so well done. You've got a nice, bright, airy grapefruit opening on the top. Then you've got a kick of ginger. The very ozonic, almost like a fresh sea breeze to me. And then you just got this beautiful creamy coconut. I think it's called a coconut nectar note in particular. That's just so, so good. The beach vibes in this are just amazing. As it starts to dry down, it gets a little bit musky. And then you have that beautiful sweet vanilla. This one is really, really good. One of my favorite flankers from Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This one really gives you those suntan beach vibes. That's why it's called Sun. It is so good. I get about six hours on my skin. This is a head turner and a compliment getting machine. It projects longer than the arm's length. This one is really, really well done. The next fragrance I'm going to be talking about is from Jean-Paul Gaultier. This one is called La Beau. Basically, what you're going to get from this one is just a little bit of citrus on the top, very a nice bright opening, but then this just kind of becomes a very sweet, coconutty, linear fragrance, but I love it. It's very youthful. It's very fun. It's very sweet, sugary sweet coconut in particular, and it is just so good. I get about eight hours on my skin. I get all kinds of compliments when I wear this one, and it is a projection monster, at least on my skin. You know, your miles may vary. It's different for everybody, but I love this fragrance. It smells so good, and it's so intoxicating, so I had to include it on the list. And then one more honorable mention. I had to talk about this one right here. This one is called Cabo Coast. This one is from my good friend Ross Barrett's fragrance house called Barrett Fragrances, and if you love Creed, in particular, Virgin Island Water, you're going to love this fragrance because this is an inspiration. And for 55 bucks, you can't beat it. So I had to put this one in here. It's an amazing honorable mention. So there you have it. Those are my top 10 favorite tropical beach vacation fragrances for men. I'd love to hear from you guys. And so if you would leave a comment down below so I can see what are some of your favorite because you guys are always giving me some good ideas. If you guys got some value from this video whatsoever, leave a thumbs up. If you love to be a part of my fragrance family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notifications off to the side. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Hope wherever you are, you're finding peace and happiness. Until next time, ciao.